Hi everybody, in this video we're going to take permutations written in cycle notation and convert them into Cauchy's notation. So for each of the cycles that we have here, uh, there are permutations on the set 1 through 7. So that means we actually know what each of the permutations written in Cauchy's permutation notation will look like. We're going to have these nice big parentheses everywhere. And then we have the numbers 1 through 7 on top. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, and then a little parenthesis on the other side. And you can see one of the huge advantages of cycle notation is we don't have to write all of this down every time. Uh, but okay, we, we do want to understand Cauchy's notation. So let's take a look. This first cycle... Uh, let's just start with the number 1, and we see that 1 in the cycle gets mapped to 2. So 1 goes to 2. And where does 2 go? Well, 2 in the cycle gets mapped to 5. How about 3? Well, 3 doesn't appear anywhere in the cycle, so we know that 3 must be fixed. So 3 just goes to 3. And similarly, we ask where does 4 go, and it doesn't show up in the cycle either, so 4 goes to 4. All right, now we'll check 5, and we see that 5 goes to 6. We check 6, 6 goes to 7, and we check 7, and 7 goes to 1. All right, so that's how we can convert um, cycle into Cauchy's notation. Let's try it for the second one. Let's see, where does 1 go? So we can see here the only 1 is there, so 1 goes to 5. How about 2? 2 shows up here, and it goes to 3. How about 3? 3 only shows up in one place, and it goes back to 1. How about 4? Uh, 4 shows up in this transposition. It goes to 7. How about 5? Five? 5 shows up in that cycle. It goes to 6. 6 goes to 2. And how about 7? Seven? 7 goes back to 4. Okay, so that one's pretty easy. This last one has just a, a little subtlety to it. So... Uh, we start with 1, and we see 1 goes to 3. And let's see, now we'll check 2. 2 goes to 4. Fine. How about 3? So 3 goes back to 2. And how about 4? So we see here 4 goes to 3, and so we would want to write 3 here, but that doesn't make much sense because we already have a 3 over here. So let's look again. 4 got mapped to 3, but there's a whole other permutation over here, and it has a 3 in it. So once the 4 goes in to this first permutation, it spits out a 3. But this 3 now has to go into the second permutation, and that 3 is going to turn into a 5. So in total, that 4 goes to a 5. All right, how about 5? Well, 5 only shows up in the leftmost one. That goes back to 1. How about 6? 6 doesn't appear anywhere, and neither does 7 for that matter, so they just get mapped to themselves.